Welcome to the Braintech video tutorials. My name is Greg, owner of Braintech. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your Windows machine to be in developer mode so that you can install unsigned uh, developed apps. So this would be useful if you were a beta tester, for example, for an app. Uh, generally, as the developer, uh, your developer machine would already be at, uh, ready to go. But if you're testing on some other machine, this procedure will be very helpful to help other users test your uh, your program. So, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to have your Windows developer uh, account. So I'm on a Windows 10 machine, so we're going to do that. So we're going to open up PowerShell on the computer that you're going to do this on. And when you do it, you're going to run PowerShell as administrator. So click yes when it asks. All right, so here's PowerShell. Show Windows Developer License Registration. Okay. And in a moment, it should. There you go. Enable developer mode for 10. So you go, now my machine's already in developer mode. But here, you would log in with your credentials. Second, most likely your app is going to be unsigned. So when you submit it to Microsoft, it will become signed with our certificates. So we need to do set execution policy remote signed and uh, you're gonna say yes to all of those changes a and that's it and then from here you'll be able to install apps now there's a couple different ways that you can do that you can either do it the the hard way or the easy way so the easy way let's go find one that I've got on here So here's an app that, I, that I've been working on uh, called Scaleforms. And you can come in here to this Add App Developer Package and you can right click and run with PowerShell and that'll install it on your computer. The other way you can do it is you can do it from uh, PowerShell itself. So you can browse to that folder and then you can type out that Add App Developer, or I'm sorry, Add hyphen app dev package dot ps1 uh, doing after you do this this is much easier to just right click on it and run PowerShell so that'll uh, help you install your programs I'd like to thank you for watching the BrainTech video tutorials check out our other videos on the BrainTech channel become a subscriber and have a great day